to you. Uh, so today was a really important match in Premier League. We needed to go 2-0 to have chances to promotion. We had a pretty decent split. We were third place and today was the most important day. Sadly, we didn't win. We went 2-0. Reasons for that were very, very different. Um, the good thing is I had the feeling that every player really tried their best to win, but in the end it was not enough. The enemy team was better. The first game was really one-sided, but in the second game we showed what we were capable of. It was much better than the first game, but in the end it was also sadly not enough. But in both games there were still a lot of highlights to look back at. Uh, basically, I was asked to come here and just have a bit of a conversation. And yeah. Uh, to make it short, I'm not coaching the team Avaros anymore. When, it, when you leave a team, it's always like, it's always a bit sad because there are emotions in there and you get to know people and you get to know the, the human side behind the players, right? I just wish that it would have been able for me to form my words to appreciate him enough uh, because I didn't do that and kind of missed my chance. So, yeah, but. Uh, Yusuf really inspired me not only as a coach but uh, also as a person and I think that uh, he inspired me to be a better player and be a better person. My name is Fuad, I'm 23 years old. I'm in the coaching scene, in the German scene mainly since four years. And since there I started in the ESL first uh, division. Back then, four years ago, there was no Prime League. But since the creation of the Prime League, I was always involved in the team. And now I'm here at the Project Avarosa. Well, I think Vlad is very structured. Um, and he has a lot of motivation for this project. And yeah, he's a good fit to our team, I think. I think we had like more time in the team, not like around everyone from SK or stuff from SK, it was like more team-wise. Ford did a great job with all the stuff he had to handle, like eight persons holding together and doing our schedule the whole day over. We had some nice quizzes and yeah. <laughs> My plan is that every individual player, that would be of course the dream, can fulfill their dreams. So if Wei can achieve what Wei set for goals for themselves, that, that's why I'm here. I'm helping them to achieve their goals. That would be the dream. That would be really nice with this project. Everyone has different individual goals. Some of them want to go professional. Some of them want to go do it with besides the studies. And that's why I'm here helping them to improve individually, but also outside of the game. In one hour, we will play Prime League matches. Like, official matches always makes me um, nervous. So I always try to relax and uh, think about other things before the match. This match is important for them too. Uh, recently they were playing really well and I think that the team is the strongest it has ever been uh, at this point. So I'm very positive. And yeah, you go guys. Did you guys try the best? It wasn't enough, so. No, I don't think. Uh, we lost 0-2, unfortunately, for this week. Uh, it was close matches, we could have won both of them, but we fell short in the end, sadly. Even if we lost, the result is not what we wanted, but it is what it is. You, you win some, you lose some. He's asking. Okay, so I came to the decision that um, I will leave the project Avarosa. For me, it's just, I think, a better decision to part ways. Obviously, we were in really close uh, contact with all of our players at any given point. Um, 
And when the, the messages of them reached us that they are no longer um, taking part in the project, it was a news that was obviously um, pretty sad regarding the whole history that we had within the team and all their time and effort. But at the same time, it's a decision that we completely respect and we are really, really thankful and grateful for all the effort and time they put in the project and in the scrim time, in all the boot camps that we set up for them and uh, also tournaments, obviously and uh, we can only wish them their best on their future journey and uh, we are pretty sure that our paths will cross again in future tournaments or events. I, I really wish that SK and the whole community keep supporting female players. Even though I made this decision, I'm really, really grateful though for this whole project because I could take so many things away from uh, all the boot camps, all, all the coachings. I'm seeing like my goals a bit clearer now. Yeah. And I got more confident, I think. Win-win. <laughs> and just don't stop supporting and create beautiful things. Wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get if you stay true to yourself, then you're gonna get to the point where you are, no matter what stones or what people throw uh, in front of you. Believe in yourself, as we did like the mantra, as like I will, I will, I will be the best version of myself and help others to be theirs. So this is kind of the th closing thought for me. In 2022 we really want to compete at the highest level in the Prime League, in the German tournament and also the female tournaments that are happening over the year. And to make that happen, we wanted to re-evaluate every position that is currently available. So yeah, we basically decided to um, do tryouts for every role to get a fresh start and being able to find a team and build a roster together that works well together and has a good chemistry, but also performs at the highest level and wants to improve themselves over the time.